Today on Dave's Great Ideas, we're gonna be using a power washer, surface cleaner, vinegar to clean this dirty cement patio, this saturated wood deck, as well as the entire front driveway. There is a multitude of chemicals and treatments that you can buy to do this, but I'm just gonna be using good old vinegar. I've dumped it all over the cement here in the back that's really saturated with everything that falls from this tree and the pine trees in the back there. Hopefully that's gonna loosen it up. Aggravated it with a bit of brushing with the broom. We're gonna let that sit while we start to spray the upper deck and clear all that wood. So to start the process, I'm gonna be using the pressure washer gun. Do all the perimeter, all the edges, anywhere that that surface cleaner can't get to. I got the big 24 inch one to save some time on the driveway, but it might make it a little more tricky getting into these small spaces here. So after the initial edge cleaning, you can see the difference here. I think it's going to be a lot easier once we put that surface cleaner attachment. We'll get a lot more cleaning with the motions we do here. And here we have the top of the shed, the before and the after. Placed a little vinegar on here earlier, it really made a difference. So now we're going to give these stairs a cleaning. Here's the before. Now we're going to try out the surface cleaner using it on the deck. Hopefully it's not going to cause any damage, but we'll see. quickly we went from this to this pretty happy with how that came out and the stairs yeah not too shabby shed looks like new let's move all this stuff to the other side and
All right, let's see how this surface cleaner works its magic on this really disgusting cement. All right, it's the next day. Everything's dried up and it's looking awesome. 100% better than what it was before. Is it perfect? No. Is it awesome? <laughs> yes. There are a few spots while I was power washing where I overdid it and you can see how it causes the fuzz. You don't want the fuzz when you're power washing. But everything else came out great. The plastic shed looks like new. Minus the repair jobs, I had to do it for cracks. And this cement patio, I'm really happy with how all this came out. There was just a layer of sludge and mold and blackness over everything. And that vinegar and that surface cleaner really got it clean. The driveway wasn't super soiled or really stained or dirty, but it came out great. It got rid of all the dirt that was stuck in the cement. I was able to clean out with that power washing gun all the cracks, took out all the little mini trees that were starting to grow in here. Really happy with how it all came out. So the total cost to do this was about $200 Canadian for the rental and for the couple jugs of vinegar. Highly recommend you do this if you have a dirty driveway or dirty wooden deck or a dirty patio. Using the vinegar in the backyard really made a difference to get that soot and slime off that cement. But for the wood, I know there's a lot of different treatments you can use, but if you're looking just to clean it up and get it semi-decent, the power washer is really all you need. The thing I learned as well while using the power washer gun is you have to have a nice steady flow. I was trying back and forth, swinging the gun around, but really the key is just to put it from one end slowly with the same pace and pressure all the way across those steps. Otherwise, you get these little guys here. And if you go way too slow, you're gonna get things like this. So for my first power washing job, I'm really happy with how it all came out. I hope this motivates and helps you on your patio driveway cleaning journey. I really appreciate you guys, the likes, the subscribes, the messages, everything. You guys are awesome. We'll see you in the next one.